What is up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a December 2023 reading for all air sign placements, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. I'm going to give you some channel messages that I have for all air sign placements. After that, you can go down to the description box or the comment down below and find your sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There will be timestamps for you in the description box as well as in the pinned comment down below. The first message I have for you, air signs, is first day of the rest of your life. Some of you are going to be having some sort of life-changing moments. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're going to have some life-changing moments or life-changing events in the month of December. I saw some of you like walking through a portal. It looked like there was like a portal opening up for you and you're just walking right through it. And I feel like you're going to be leaving behind somebody, leaving behind an old way of doing something, leaving behind an old belief system, something like that. I just wrote down first day of the rest of your life. Some of you could be getting engaged. Some of you could be getting married. Some of you could be moving in with somebody. Some of you could be relocating, moving to a new city, a new state, a new country even, or maybe just moving to a different neighborhood, a different house or apartment, and it's going to like open up a whole new world for you. Okay, so first day of the rest of your life, you guys will know more about that when it happens for you, obviously in December, but it does feel like you're leaving behind one way of life or you're leaving behind something to move into a whole new chapter this month. I just saw a portal opening up for you and you're walking through it fearlessly, might I add. I also wrote down sunsets. Yesterday I went and watched the sunset at the beach, so sunsets could be significant for you or maybe you want to watch some more sunsets in December. You don't have to go to the beach if you don't live near a beach or you don't want to go to the beach, you don't have to. You can watch the sunset from your yard, from your window, from anywhere, but sunsets would be really good for you to watch. If you didn't know, Watching the sunset can actually help to balance our circadian rhythm. So watching the sunset will actually help you to sleep better. If any of you are having sleeping issues, try to watch more sunsets. It'll like train your body to go to sleep at a better time and then you'll wake up earlier. It'll be perfect for you. Okay, so watch some more sunsets. That'll help to regulate your circadian rhythm. I also got a dream a couple nights ago and I didn't tell the water signs. So it, it's meant for you guys, not for the water signs. But I got this dream and I don't remember much of it. All I remember is that I was walking in somewhere. Also, sorry about the lighting. I just have the energy to film for you right now and the sun is doing what the sun is doing. Hopefully that's not a problem for you. If it is, I'm sorry. Come back to another video in the future. The lighting might be better, but it is what it is. Anyway, I had a dream and I don't remember much of it, but what I remember is that I was walking into a building or walking into a room and I was talking to somebody, but I don't know who I was talking to. And then there was like three or four people who were also walking into the same building or walking into the same room, but I didn't know those people. They didn't know me. They were eavesdropping on my conversation though. I was talking to somebody about, I said I dropped out of college and then these people who were listening in started laughing. They were like eavesdropping and laughing and me laughing at me for saying that I had dropped out of college. And then I corrected myself and said, oh no, I didn't actually drop out of college. I went for a year, but I couldn't afford college. And then they started laughing even more. And I was like, why are these people being so mean? And why are they listening into my conversation? And then that was the end of the, of the dream. That's all I remember. But some of you, you could relate to that. Maybe you couldn't afford college. Maybe you didn't want to go to college. Maybe you did drop out of college. Who cares what other people think? I wrote down, don't listen to the opinion of someone you'd never take advice from or switch places with. So if you wouldn't switch places with the person who's giving you their opinion, or you wouldn't take the advice from someone who's giving you their opinion, don't worry about it. Some people are just miserable and they're projecting this month for sure. And some people are just mean, but that's not a reflection of you. That's a reflection of them. Okay. And then I wrote down, it's not love, it's lust. And that's confirmation for someone. Some of you were wondering if somebody actually loves you or if they just want to like get with you in a sexual, physical way, if it's just a lust situation, this is your confirmation. And for some of you, you've been thinking like, do I actually love somebody or do I just want to be with them physically? Am I just physically attracted to them? Is it just a lusty sexual kind of a connection? This is your confirmation. It's not love, it's lust. And then I wrote down adult temper tantrum, which I'm going to pull a card for because I wanna know what this adult temper tantrum is about but some of you may be experiencing some adult temper tantrums around you. I was specifically getting fire signs 
25 and older. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This could be a family member, a friend, a coworker. But I was specifically getting fire signs, 25 and older. Someone's having a temper tantrum, an adult temper tantrum. And I like to think that adults are 25 or older because the brain doesn't stop developing until 25. And even then it doesn't really stop developing, but by 25, I feel like most people are considered adults. So an adult temper tantrum, what's this about please spirit? Why is this person throwing a temper tantrum? What are these temper tantrums about? The queen of rods. Oh, oh, okay. So there could be trouble in paradise. Somebody may be um, throwing a temper tantrum because they can't have their cake and eat it too. We're seeing the Queen of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Lovers. It's like somebody wants to be with you, but somebody also wants to be with somebody else. Or somebody's just not getting what they want out of a relationship. Maybe somebody's throwing a temper tantrum because they're not getting any sex. Just being honest with you, telling you what I see. The Lovers could be very like carnal, sexual energy. And then we're seeing the Page of Cups. And this person's like not giving you anything or not giving anything to other people it's like the page of cups is very small so this person's not really putting in a lot of effort to this connection they're not really opening up emotionally they're not being vulnerable but they're still expecting some sort of like physical intimacy or sex and you're not giving it to them or someone's not giving it to them and that could be why they're throwing a temper tantrum i'm also getting that somebody may be triggered by your beauty Yeah, I'm getting that somebody could be jealous of your beauty and that's why they're throwing a temper tantrum because they think that you're prettier than them. They think that you're more beautiful than them, more handsome than them, more attractive than them. And that could be why they're throwing a temper tantrum. But the overall energy I was getting is that somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too and they can't. You won't let them or the universe won't let them and so they're throwing some sort of temper tantrum. I'm also getting that if somebody's accusing you of cheating this month, it's because they actually are cheating. And I'm also getting that if somebody doesn't want to have sex with you when they come home, it's because they've had sex with somebody else or they're having sex with somebody else. I'm so sorry, guys, but this is what's coming through. Take what resonates, you know, not everything's going to fit for everybody. But that could be why somebody's having a temper tantrum, because they're getting caught or because your intuition is like telling you that somebody is being sneaky, being deceptive, cheating something like that. Like you may, you may know that there's another person that they're talking to or there's another person in the picture. And so you're not giving anything to them. You're not opening up to them emotionally. You're not giving them your body. And that's why they're throwing a temper tantrum. I'm hearing you're only sorry because you got caught. That song by Rihanna, Take a Bow. That song could be significant. Maybe you want to listen to that. Okay. Follow your intuition. You'll know what to do with the situation. But now you know why they're throwing a temper tantrum. Now you know why they're acting weird. Especially for some of you, this is going to be very personal, but for some of you, it's like when you do want to have sex with this person, you're feeling that energy and you're like, yeah, I want to have sex with you. And then they can't reciprocate the energy. I heard they can't get it up. Um, or it's because they've already been having sex with somebody, so they don't have the energy to have sex with you as well. Okay. You'll know if that resonates. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but... That seems to be why the adult temper tantrums are happening. Okay, moving on. I wrote down Family Switch on Netflix. I just watched that movie last night and I laughed and I cried. I thought it was a very cute Christmas movie, um, a very cute family movie. It was a little corny, but aren't all Christmas movies a little corny and cheesy? I liked it though, solid nine out of 10 for me. It has Jennifer Garner in it. I think all of the actors and actresses did a fantastic job and I think that it's worth the watch if you haven't seen it and you have Netflix or somebody else has Netflix and you want to just log into their little Netflix real quick, watch that movie. I think that you'd really like it. Family Switch on Netflix. Okay. And then I wrote down, don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Your spirit team was saying that or somebody is going to say that to you. They're like, don't stress. Don't worry about it. It's not your problem. I heard this yesterday because somebody asked me to move their car for them and I went to go try to move their car for them but I couldn't because the battery was dead but I didn't understand that at first I didn't know that that was what was wrong and so I reached out to them I was like sorry I can't move your car I don't know if I did something wrong but the key is not turning in the ignition like the ignition is not turning on when I turn the key and they were like oh the battery's probably dead don't worry about it not your problem and I was like wow thank you so that was nice to hear so somebody may be saying that to you as well don't worry about it it's not your problem don't stress okay and then lastly, 
I wrote down that a cerebral connection becomes more intimate. So some of you, you may not be in a relationship with somebody or you may be in a new relationship with somebody, or this could even be friends. And there's a cerebral connection there. There's a lot of like communication. You guys could talk for hours. You guys get each other when you communicate. It's very much in like the head space between the two of you, but something changes this month and it's going to come more into the body is what I was getting. So it's going to be a little bit more of a physical connection and the cerebral part is still going to be there. You guys are not going to lose that mental, mental thing. I'm hearing telepathy. So some of you may be able to telepathically communicate with somebody, a friend or a new partner or somebody that you're interested in. That cerebral connection isn't going to go anywhere, but instead I feel like there's going to be even more of a connection this month and it's going to translate into the body. There's going to be some more physical intimacy. And I was told to tell you to not be afraid, okay, to take your time with this and to communicate with this person because this person, you and you both have really good communication skills, so don't let the communication fade away when it becomes more of a physically intimate connection. Keep the mental connection as well keep the communication open is what i'm hearing okay let's get into the reading though for all of the signs now i just saw 11 11 we're gonna start with gemini so go ahead and go down to the description box and the pinned comment down below find your sign and let's get into this thank you all for being here hi gemini this is your december 2023 reading with me we're going to see what it is that you guys need to know specifically for december 2023 I'm going to pull one card for your overall energy. What's Gemini's overall energy or theme for the month of December 2023, please, Spirit? Okay, the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or there's going to be significance with a Capricorn this month. The devil doesn't have to be a bad thing, but for some of you, there could be some sort of temptation, um, some sort of deception, something very lusty happening this month. And so you're going to have a choice to make. Do you give in to the temptation? Do you give in to the lust? Do you give in to this energy? Or do you choose a different path? I'm hearing, do you save yourself? Or do you lose yourself? Wow. Some of you, there is somebody here who's really only interested in um, a lusty connection with you or being manipulative, taking advantage. Like somebody just likes to play games. And I think you're going to see that this month or you're going to like really recognize and realize that this month. And so I feel like this is not somebody that you want to continue things with. But I am getting that like the sex is really good or this person's very attractive. There's some sort of like obsessive energy. This person gives off like an obsessive energy or like you may feel like you're obsessed with them. You think about them all the time. Their body is really attractive. Their skin is really attractive. The way that they speak move is really attractive, how much money they have is really attractive, but there's something off about this person. The devil card is here, right? There's something off about this person. So you'll know more about that in December. The devil could also represent um, key information. So some of you are going to be receiving key information about your purpose, about your life, about your career, about your career path. And it's like only information that you have access to. The devil is like secret key information that only you get to have access to or only you get. So that looks like it's coming through for some of you as well this month. I am seeing a beetle. Beetles could be significant. I think that beetles might represent transformation. So maybe in the past some of you gave into temptation or gave into addictions or gave into lust and really attractive sexy people, but there's something changing this month. You're transforming you're walking away from what no longer serves you. And that could be why this devil energy is showing up for you because it can feel that you are separating yourself. It can feel that you are leaving this energy behind. And so it's going to try like hell to keep you where you are. But I'm hearing that you're stronger than this. You're stronger than the vices. You're stronger than the, the pull. You're stronger than the temptation, okay? I'm hearing it's not love, it's lust. So if you were wondering that, it's not love, it's lust. Okay, let's keep going. What else is going to be going on for Capricorn? Sorry, not Capricorn, Gemini. Maybe you are dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe it's the Capricorn that you want to cut ties with this month because they are just so lusty and so obsessive and just the devil energy. 
But again, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. You may be becoming more obsessed with yourself, more in love with yourself, and I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Let's keep going though. What else does Gemini need to know about December 2023? Yeah, the Two of Wands and then the Five of Swords. So I do feel like you're like breaking up with somebody or you're leaving an addiction or a vice or a temptation behind with the Two of Wands. You're like, I know I have a choice here. I know that I don't have to keep putting up with this energy if I don't want to, but it's like, maybe you just didn't know how to get out of it or maybe you just didn't think that it was as bad as it actually is, but now you're seeing the truth this month. Your eyes are wide open is what I'm hearing. And then you're seeing that there is another path for you to choose. Some of you, this could be like a marriage or a long-term partnership that you didn't see your way out of, but you're going to find an answer this month or you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The universe is going to provide you a new path or a new option for you to get out of this is what I'm seeing if that resonates. Okay, but there is some sort of like path being opened up for you, some new path some new way of living, the first day of the rest of your life. Especially if you are getting out of a toxic relationship, it's going to feel like the first day of the rest of your life because you're going to feel free. There is some sort of freedom that I feel like you're choosing for yourself this month. You're setting yourself free. And this doesn't have to be another person. This devil energy could be a limiting belief. You're breaking free from it. It could also be an organization or a group of people that were making you feel trapped or that were making you feel less than and you're breaking free from them or breaking free from that this month, okay? You're choosing to set yourself free. And then we're seeing the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords means that you will get the last laugh. So you're defeating some sort of devil energy. You're defeating a demon, something like that. You're going to get the last laugh this month. I'm hearing no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody could be trying to do spell work on you. That could be the devil energy, but it's backfiring this month because you're aware of it now or because it's time for it to backfire, you're going to get the last laugh. That's what your spirit team is saying with the Five of Swords. So I wouldn't worry about any spell work that people are trying to do on you. It's a waste of time. No weapon formed against you shall prosper and no one has free, no one has free will in your reality, but you have free will in your reality. You can choose to give power to this devil energy. You can choose to give power to these people. You can choose to think that their spell work is working. You can choose to stay stuck in the addiction and the lust and the vices and the temptation if you want to, but you also have a choice to do the opposite. And I think that you're going to see that very clearly this month. Anything else, please, for Gemini? Yeah, we're seeing the Nine of Cups. You're making the right decisions for yourself because you're identifying what no longer serves you. And you're recognizing that this devil energy doesn't make you happy. It may have made you happy temporarily, and that is devil energy. It'll definitely come in and make you happy temporarily, make it seem like everything's going to be good and great and wonderful, but it doesn't last for longer than a few days or a few weeks. And then it's right back to the BS. Then it's right back to the narcissism and the abuse and the manipulation and the toxicity, yada, yada, yada. But you're making the choice to get out of it or you're making the choice to set yourself free and it's making you very happy. And I'm also getting that the Nine of Cups represents wish fulfillment. So some of you, you're removing the blockage from your manifestations or you're removing the blockage from your happiness. And you're really, really happy that you set yourself free this month with the Nine of Cups. You're going to be so happy that you're out of this toxic situation, that you're out of this toxic mindset, that you're away from this obsessive devil energy. Yeah, you're making the right decision to set yourself free and it's definitely adding to your confidence as well. I feel like somebody here was trying to um, convince you that you weren't good looking, convince you that you weren't attractive. It kind of feels like there is someone here who was trying to tell you that like no one would ever want to be with you you're lucky i even want to be with you trying to tell you that like you're fat or unlovable or nobody would love you nobody likes you i barely even put up with you blah 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 just a bunch of negative shit to try to keep you stuck trying to keep you in their control but you're like breaking free from that this month because you're like no what you're saying is a lie what you're saying is a lie the devil is a lie the queen of wands you are lovable you are sexy as fuck, period. You are attractive. Your body is beautiful. You are that bitch, okay? Regardless of your gender. Whatever this person has been saying to you or these people have been saying to you is a lie. And you're going to be identifying that this month and setting yourself free. And then look how good it gets for you. It gets so good for you. With the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands, this is all about wish fulfillment, your happiness, getting what you want. And then the Queen of Wands, regardless of your gender, talks about confidence getting your power back, standing in your power, getting your magic back, being very magical and mystical, 
and in charge of your own life. Period. Yeah, you're taking your power back for sure. Setting yourself free and getting your power back for sure, Gemini. Okay, let's see what else is coming out for you guys. For Gemini, December 2023. I'm hearing this is a long time coming. It's been a long time coming for you to set yourself free from this devil energy. Whether it's a person, a job, a belief system, anything. It's been a long time coming, but you are setting yourself free. We're seeing the number 17. So the number 17 could be significant or 71. You could be born on the 17th or be born in 1971 or be seeing 17s. This card says, trust your faith. Dive into the unfolding journey. And I'm hearing all you need is the faith of a mustard seed. You're going to see the faith of that mustard seed turn into something much bigger for you this month. And it's going to set you free. So some of you, it's all about having faith that you can get out of the situation. Whether you believe it right now or not, you're just telling yourself, like, I know that the universe is going to get me out of this. I know that my higher self is going to figure this out. I know that God is going to give me an opportunity to get out of this. There is a path opening up for you. So just continue to have faith. Dive into this unfolding journey. And this card says, what is your faith asking of you? And I feel like your faith is asking you to believe that you can do it, to believe that you can set yourself free, to believe that you can save yourself, and to also know that this devil energy is a lie. And then we're seeing the number 16. So it feels like there may have been some setbacks or some delays, or there may be some setbacks or delays this month, but try not to get discouraged, okay? Because 17 came out first and then 16 is coming out after it. And I shuffle these cards a lot, so it's really weird when the cards show up in sequential order, but this is going backwards from 17 to 16. You may also have like a countdown. Some of you, you may have like a date set for when you're getting out of something or for when you're setting yourself free from something. So you may have a countdown, okay? But there may be some setbacks or some delays. Try not to get discouraged. Everything is still working out for you. Everything is still unfolding for you, okay? I'm seeing gold. You might want to work with the color gold more, but this card says Midas Touch. I feel like somebody was afraid of your power or afraid of your abilities, and that's why they've been, they've been trying to do magic work on you or trying to control you, but you're waking up or you're really standing in your power this month. I'm hearing you know you're that bitch when you cause all this conversation. That Beyonce lyric from Partition, from 7-Eleven. I don't know what song it's from. If you know, let me know. But that energy is coming through. And then this card says Midas Touch. Things are working out in your favor. Things are working out in your favor. You have the Midas Touch this, this month. Whatever you want, you will get. Okay? And then this card says, in what ways are you abundant right now? So try to find what ways you're abundant right now and focus on those tap more into that energy and it will create even more abundance for you. Every time I go to the beach, I think about how the sand is so abundant. There's so many teeny tiny pieces of sand and it just feels like it goes on forever. And then I remind myself that I'm surrounded by abundance and the abundance is surrounded by me. So maybe you wanna to go to the beach, walk on the sand, maybe put your bare feet in the sand or bare feet in some grass, that might help you to remind you that you are abundant and to remind you that there's abundance all around you. You are surrounded by abundance and abundance is surrounded by you. All right, last message for Gemini. The messages are a bit longer today and that's okay. Last but not least, right, with the air signs. Thank you guys for waiting for me. I appreciate you. Message of peace. Oh, I love this. Yeah, the universe is saying that there will be peace at the end of this. I'm hearing carry on my wayward son. There will be peace when you are done. So yeah, hopefully this message provided you some peace and clarity and know that there will be peace by the end of December because you're setting yourself free from this devil energy, from this toxicity, from this abuse, this limiting belief, so on and so forth. Yeah, I feel like I don't need to read this from the book because I feel like it's just going to tell us what we already know. And these black cards in this deck are very weird. They're more about like you interpreting it for yourself. So whatever this means to you, Trust your intuition, but just know that there will be peace at the end of December. There will be peace for you when this is all said and done. You will get the last laugh in a situation, okay? This also is the number 35. So 35 or 53 could be significant as well, or the number eight. 
Okay. That was what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Enjoy your December. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, Libra. This is your December 2023 reading with me. Let's just get on into it. All right, Spirit, come through for Libra placements. What's the overall energy, the theme for Libras for December 2023? The Two of Wands. I'm getting something about decision making, but I'm also getting something about like a lot of invitations. You may be finding yourself like pull in one direction and pull in another direction this month. It feels like somebody wants you to come over here, but at the same time, somebody wants you to come over here. So you may have to um, figure out how to schedule yourself or something like that. I'm getting something about your schedule becoming a little bit more busy with more invitations, more places to go, more people to talk to, things like that. Potentially even like more meetings, like business meetings, collaborations. Um, my inbox, my email inbox has been getting a little bit more like partnership opportunities and collab opportunities. I'm very picky about those things. That's why you don't see any paid opportunities on my page or any ads on my page, just because I'm very picky and I wanna make sure that it aligns to me and aligns to all of you. I'm not into the whole cash grab, just make some money type of energy. And I feel like you aren't either. But for some of you, you may be having more people in your email inbox or in your DMs asking to send you things, asking if we can work together, asking you for your media kit, what's your rate, etc. I'm getting something about like hair. Some of you may do hair, something cosmetology with cosmetology or maybe with skin or makeup. And there could be people coming to you in your inbox or in your DM asking you for your services. What are your rates? When can I book you? Something like that. But there may be brands reaching out to you as well, wanting to send you things or wanting to partner with you or asking you what your rates are, something like that. The Two of Wands also talks about travel. So there's going to be some traveling that comes up for you or travel opportunities that present themselves to you this month. The whole world is in your hands, Libra. That's typically what the Two of Wands represents. This is somebody who's like standing out on a pier, on a ledge, looking at the world, realizing that the whole world is inside of their hands, that they get to decide the next chapter, they get to decide where they go next. So this could be your energy for the month of December. It feels like there could be like a fresh, a clean slate, a fresh start that's manifesting for you, or there already just was like some sort of clean slate, fresh start energy. You're in some sort of newness right now, and now you're moving from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands. So that initial like beginning stage is over. I'm getting something about like the facade has worn off or like the glamour has worn off. The newness has worn off for some of you. And now you're like, okay, so what's next? Okay, what do I do next? Where do I go next? I feel like you're gonna be figuring that out for yourself this month. And you're really seeing that like the world is your oyster. I'm also hearing that the, the world is your stage. You don't need a stage or you don't need something to be handed to you. You can go and get it or it's already around you. I'm also getting for some of you that your most viral video is already in your camera roll or in your drafts. Your next viral video is already in your camera roll or in your drafts. If you post online or something like that, or if you want to start posting, I was just seeing that your most viral video or your next viral video, next viral moment is already in your camera roll or in your drafts. Okay. I'm also getting something about a wreath. You might be making a wreath or you could have just gotten a new wreath or you're getting a new wreath for your door, a new doormat as well. I see you decorating the outside of your home. Okay. Snails could be significant too. I'm getting something about snails. Maybe look up the spirit animal meaning of a snail. That could be significant. But also I'm getting like slow and steady wins the race. And every single sign we've been talking about taking things slow, not rushing anything, not forcing anything. This month is not the month to rush, to force anything like that. It's the month to like take it slow, to slow down, to make plans, to reflect, things like that. We do have Mercury retrograde this month too. So Mercury retrograde is going to bring some sort of like technology issues, some delays, some slowing down of energy. 
try to remember that you're not being punished. It's just the way of the world. It's just the planetary bodies. Mercury is here to help us, not hurt us, right? So any delays you're experiencing, any detours, redirection you're experiencing, it's for your highest good. Try to go with it. Try not to resist it, okay? Don't force anything. I feel like the Two of Wands is a really good energy for you this month because it's like you have this awareness that you don't have to force anything, that you don't have to rush anything, and you're seeing that like the world is your oyster, so you're really setting yourself up for success for the next year and maybe for the next years to come because this month is really giving you the free time or the the time in general. Like It feels like time energy is slowing down for you so that you can decide what you want to do next. I love that. The world is your oyster, Libra. The world is your stage. Okay. I'm hearing do a little dance, make a little love, and get down tonight. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe you work at a club or you're a dancer or you're going to be going to the club or dancing more in December. All right, what else please for Libra for December 2023? Okay, the magician and the queen of pentacles. Quite literally, the world is in your hands. Do you keep, do you see how all of these characters are holding something? So that could be significant. I'm hearing like you hold the key or you hold the answers. You hold the world in your hands. Something like that. Maybe you're holding on to something or that could be wise to hold on. Don't make any sudden moves or don't make any impulsive decisions this month. Hold on. Wait for all of the answers. Wait for all of the information. Okay. I'm getting something about like impulsive traveling. Try not to do that. Try to plan. And I'm also getting something about like um, what I was talking about in the beginning, like the invitations or the schedule becoming a little bit more crowded. You have more places to go, more things to do. And it does feel like some of you are going to have to choose between like going one place and going another place. I'm hearing go where you're where you feel the most appreciated. Like if there's two different parties on the same day or there's like two different dates on the same day or something, it just feels like there could be some conflicting events like something's happening at the same time or something starts while you're at something else and you're like I can't make it to both I can't be there at both and I'm hearing like you don't have to go where you feel the most appreciated go where your energy is the most appreciated okay the magician is really good though because this means that you have all of the tools necessary to move forward to move on to create your dream life so you have all of the tools necessary you are good enough this month is all about like you really manifesting what you want in the future and you really like planning for the future is what I'm seeing. All right, what else? I'm seeing that there's an air sign. Okay, I was seeing that there's an earth sign, but there could also be an air sign who's really interested in you this month or you're really interested in. Maybe you're already with this air sign or this earth sign. I feel like if you are currently with this earth sign or this air sign, things are going steady or somebody may be asking to go steady with you. I'm hearing somebody's a little bit more old school in tradition. They want to get to know you. They want to build a connection with you. This is somebody who like goes out on multiple dates with you before like committing or before having sex. That could be you or them. But I'm getting like you are going steady with somebody this month or somebody wants to go steady with you. It feels like there could be um the decision to make an, a, a relationship official. Somebody's like, okay, I've gotten to know you long enough. Or you're like, okay, I've gotten to know you long enough. I'm ready to make this relationship official. I'm ready to be in a partnership with you. What else? Oh yeah, the Empress. That's your energy. I like it. I feel like it's a good month for you to pamper yourself or to spoil yourself or even to get pampered and spoiled by somebody. I was getting this message I didn't say in the beginning with the Two of Wands just because I didn't know if it applied, but now I'm seeing the Empress with the Two of Wands. And so I guess I'll just say it. It feels like somebody could be offering to pay for your flight, to pay for your hotel accommodations, to pay for a room, to pay for your food. Somebody wants to like treat you, spoil you, pay for you to come see them or something like that but I'm getting like, don't do it impulsively. Don't up and leave everything you have going on just for this person, or don't up and leave everything you've got going on just to go on this trip. Try to plan it instead. 
So it may be like, oh, sorry, I can't come this weekend or I can't come this month, but I can come next weekend or I can come next month. Does that work for you? And yeah, they'll be fine because they want to see you. They want to spoil you. You are the prize, not them. <laughs> Period. I love the energy of December, honestly, guys. Like the energy of December is lit. Lit. Minus the delays and the detours and the construction, but it's fine. We'll get through it. We always do. Anything else for Libra? Yeah, the Six of Swords. That's confirmation of what I literally just said. We'll get through it. We always do. So, period. If you're going through something right now that you may not see the outcome yet, or you may not see that light at the end of the tunnel, you will in December. You will get through it. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You will make it out to the other side. The Six of Swords talks about moving forward, moving on. The Six of Swords also represents spirit guides. So some of you may be connecting to new spirit guides this month or reconnecting with your spirit guides, getting more spiritual messages, seeing more signs and more synchronicities this month as well. Especially if you are unsure about which path to take or what trip to go to or what party to go to, what event to go to. If you're having any of these like um, back and forth indecisive moments, listen to your intuition, listen to the messages that are being sent to you from your spirit team. Try to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that are showing up for you because you will get the answers is what I'm getting. I love it. But I feel like in terms of deciding in the month of December, the determining factor should be going where you feel the most appreciated, going wherever you feel like your energy is valued and appreciated. Those are the places that you want to be. Those are the places that you want to go to. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, let's see what else is happening for you. We're going to pull some Oracle cards now for Libra. Some of you, you may also have like a business. I know we talked about like the hair, makeup, skin services that you may offer, but it doesn't have to be that. Generally speaking, if you have a business, it feels like there's more clients. It feels like more people are buying from you. People really like your stuff. People really like what you're selling. People really like you this month. People want to buy from you, pamper you, spoil you, treat you. You may even have clients asking if they can like take you out to dinner or meet up with you somewhere, buy you lunch. They may be asking you like for an address or for your PO box. Like, hey, I want to send you a little something just as a token of appreciation. Libra getting spoiled this month. I like it. I'm hearing you deserve it. We're seeing the number 18. You could be born on the 18th. You could be 18. You could be born in 1981 or the number 18 could be significant for any other reason. Your purpose is personal expansion. Yeah, especially this month. It's all about how can you expand? How can you make something bigger for yourself? Where do you need to go that lines up with your future, with your passions, things like that? Your purpose is personal expansion. That could also be clarity if you are indecisive on like where to go, what to do, etc. Where do you feel like you'll grow? Where can you go that you can grow? If you feel like you're going to a, an event or you're going somewhere and it just drains you or drags you down or there's negative pessimistic energy, I feel like you're not going there or you don't want to go there, go where you can grow. Go where you feel valued and appreciated. Okay. Your purpose is personal expansion. This card asks you how can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose? So that's something for you to ponder throughout the month of December. How can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose? And then bottom of the deck is the number 38. You may be experimenting with your look this month, with your hair, with your makeup, with the colors that you wear, the style, the patterning of things. You may be just like trying out new things when it comes to your personal look is what I'm seeing. I'm hearing it can't hurt. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more creative. So express yourself creatively. Some of you could be moving. This this big truck that just pulled in front of me. I can't read what it says, but it's a moving and storage family business since 1988. So you could be moving or putting some things in storage. You may also want to clean out some storage. Anything that maybe is like holding residual energy or holding old energy that you no longer need. You might want to get rid of it, donate it, burn it, give it away, trash it, etc. Okay, but the number 38 could be significant, or you could be born in 1983. The collective field is impacting you. Unseen forces in action. How can you relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked? 
Okay. Let me see if I can pull a card for that really quickly. How can Libra relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked? The Ten of Swords and the Hermit. So how can you release, how can you relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked? The first message I was getting is accepting that it's over or knowing that it can't hurt you. The Ten of Swords represents like an ending. It could be like a painful ending or an ending that occurred because of some sort of betrayal or deceit, something that really hurt you. Somebody could have stabbed you in the back, but you're over it now or it's over this month. So you're just accepting that like a friendship is over. You're accepting that a relationship is over for some of you. You're accepting that you don't have control over a situation. And I think that that's actually helping to relinquish control. That's helping to set you free. Okay, if you have Gemini placements, you might want to listen to that too because it does feel like the Gemini energy is starting to come back in into this reading. And then we're seeing the Hermit. And I just watched um, a couple start talking to each other outside too. So there's just a lot of energy going on around me right now. They like hugged and said hello. They're talking and chit-chatting. So that could be significant. You could be reconnecting with friends this month or making new friends. If you are in a relationship, I do feel like some of you could be um, reconnecting with friends who are also in a relationship or making new friends who are also in a relationship. There could be something about like double dates coming through. But back to this, how can you relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked? Maybe you go ghost. The hermit is a ghost energy. Or you just relinquish the control to spirit. Maybe you're like, I can't handle this anymore. I don't know what's blocking me. I'm giving it over. I'm giving it up to the universe, giving it over to God, whatever you believe in. And I feel like it'll, that'll help you. But you may want to go ghost on somebody or you may just want to like stop giving somebody your time or energy because you're accepting that it's over. Maybe you're blocking somebody and that could actually help you to relinquish control of the situation too. All right, take what resonates. Hopefully that helped and answered the question, but maybe you're going to be figuring that out for yourself in December, how you can relinquish control of the situation that feels blocked. All right, last card, please, for Libra. Message of forgiveness. I was kind of seeing that um, this air sign or this earth sign who's really into you could be somebody that you had a situation with or somebody that you, like, cut ties with. And they may be trying to pop in this month to say they're sorry. And I do feel like it is a heartfelt apology, but I don't feel like it's something that you're going to bring back to life, so to speak. You're not going to resurrect this connection, this friendship, this family relationship even. But they are saying they're sorry this month. There is some sort of an apology. And so you are forgiving them because I feel like you've already forgiven them or that's the advice to forgive them for yourself. Don't forgive them for them. Forgive them for, the, for, forgive them for your own peace. Forgive them for your own sake. Forgive them for your own sanity. But yeah, a message of forgiveness is coming through this month. So somebody may be asking you for forgiveness or just apologizing to you. This could also be you. You may be feeling compelled to apologize to somebody to say you're sorry about something. Okay, the number 40 or four could be significant as well. That is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully this helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi Aquarius, this is your December 2023 reading with me. Let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, come through please for aqua placements. What's the key theme for Aquarius this month? Okay, Knight of Cups. This is a proposal, a love offer. Doesn't have to be. I will break this card down for you all in different ways. Okay, so don't click off or get upset. I know maybe some of you aren't looking for love. This could have to do with your career or um, some sort of passion that you have for something. There could be an offer coming in for um, a creative job field or a passion project. You may be getting like an offer or a proposal like, hey, can we buy that from you? Hey, can we turn this into something? Can we publish that book? Can we turn your, can we buy your music? Can we buy your art? Something like that. For some of you okay but the knight of cups is a love offer or a proposal so there could be some sort of engagement happening an engagement ring 
This also could be a secret admirer popping up for some of you. The secret admirer is coming forward this month to let you know that they're interested. They're asking if they can take you out on a date. This is very cute. I feel like you are going to give this person a chance. This could also be you. you maybe you're secretly admiring somebody and this month you just like bite the bullet, take the chance, take the risk, let them know that you're interested in them. I feel like however this resonates, whatever side you're on, it, it feels like this offer is well received. Some of you, you may be surprised to find out that this person is actually interested in you. You may be surprised to find out that this person wants to date you or take you on a date, get to know you a little bit deeper, offer you some sort of romance and dating. Okay, and then others of you who are in a, are in a relationship, it feels like there could be a proposal, a ring. I love to see it. Some of you may be taking a trip to the water. Maybe you have water travel plans near a beach or something like that this month. Water is going to be very significant for you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you are currently in a relationship with a water sign, I do feel like you guys are taking things to the next level, i.e. moving in together, getting a pet together, starting a family together, getting engaged, whatever resonates right, whatever the next step might be. Some of you might be getting a pet with your partner as well. And then for others of you who are single, it looks like there is some sort of secret admirer coming forward or some sort of opportunity to go on dates this month. Especially if you haven't had love in a while, I feel like love is coming into your life this month, Aqua. The opportunity for love is coming into your life. If you want it, it's happening. If you don't want it, then no worries. For others of you though, if it's not about love, this could be about like you following your dreams this month not getting distracted, not allowing any distractions in your life. If it doesn't align to your dreams, to your dream life, to your passions, then it doesn't matter. That's kind of the energy I'm seeing. I'm also getting this energy of like, maybe some people didn't support your dreams or maybe some people don't support your dreams. So you're kind of like ignoring them this month or cutting them out because you are very focused on your dreams and creating your dream life for yourself. You may also be finding a new passion discovering that you're passionate about something, a new passion. And it might be something creative, like maybe you're actually really good at art, drawing, painting, calligraphy, maybe you're really good at writing, poetry, stories, etc. It feels like there's something here that you're actually really good at that maybe you didn't know that you were really good at and you're going to be tapping into that this month. You're going to be finding out that like, oh, I'm actually really good at this. It could even be makeup, something creative. I'm also getting to that about like photography or videography. Maybe you're really good at taking photos or you really like taking photos. You're going to discover that you really like taking pictures. You really like taking videos, making movies, doing skits, something like that. Okay, let's see what else is happening for you guys this month. Follow your dreams, follow your heart. Listen to your heart. I'm hearing that song. Listen to your heart. There's nothing else you can do. I don't know where you're going. I don't know where you're going. And I don't know why. Listen to your heart. Before you tell him goodbye. I wasn't planning on singing. I'm not warmed up. I didn't really want to sing, but... Some of you, you may be finding out that you're really good at singing, or you may find out that you really like to sing, whether you are good at it or not. Everybody can sing. Everybody has the ability to sing. Everybody is allowed to sing, period. It doesn't matter if people don't like your voice. The people who don't like your voice probably don't like the sound of their own voice. So why would we care? You know what I mean? I'm so over that shit. Like, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to get triggered in your reading. But like, I'm so over it. I'm so over people's negative opinions. I'm just so over it. Because the people who are casting judgment are the ones sitting in the stands. They're not creating anything. They're not doing anything. They're just being judgmental and criticizing and who gave them that right? Who told them that they could? They did. And it's also coming from a place of like lack and insecurity whenever they're judging people in a, in a nasty, negative, harsh way. So. Don't take it personally if somebody's like, oh, I don't like the sound of your voice. Oh, you shouldn't sing. And it's just because they don't like the sound of their voice. 
It's just because they don't think that they can sing. It's so truly a mirror reflection of themselves. But yeah, maybe you're discovering that you like to sing or that you're really good at singing. Or maybe you're just singing more, making more music this month. Getting into music. Listening to a lot of music. I'm hearing Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. Ah, uh, it is Christmas time. Mariah Carey's coming through. All I want for Christmas is you. That's what I'm hearing. That could be a message that somebody sends you, the secret admirer. They're like, you know what? I thought about it. And I made a Christmas list, and the only thing on this Christmas list is you, Aqua. It could also be you. Maybe somebody's really caught your eye. Maybe you really fancy someone. You could live in the UK. In London, specifically, I just heard. But the UK could be significant. But maybe you really fancy somebody. Maybe you really like somebody, and you're like, all I want for Christmas is you. You're the only thing I have on my wish list. I like this. It's very cute. Very cute and adorable. The secret admirer i think you're going to give them a chance but i am hearing that all i want for christmas is you okay ace of pentacles a brand new opportunity so some of you may be getting into a new relationship this month unexpectedly or maybe it is expected because you're like you know what i know that this person likes me i know that i like this person what are we waiting for period the waiting is over this month for some of you especially when it comes to dating love and romance the ace of pentacles talks about commitment a new beginning, a new committed beginning, something that ends up being long-term. So you may be getting into a long-term relationship this month. The Ace of Pentacles also represents a ring for me. It's a gift from the universe. So like I said, this is also confirming that there could be a ring or a proposal happening this month for some of you. Or maybe you're seeing somebody get engaged. This could be like your friend or your sibling or your parent even. You may be watching them get engaged or seeing them get engaged and you're really happy for them. Yeah, the Empress, period. Libra got this card too. So maybe you have Libra placements or are dealing with a Libra. I love that. The, the Empress card is all about you getting spoiled and receiving recognition and being treated very well. I'm hearing you're the apple of my eye. There's a lot of love energy around Aqua this month. I don't know what you've been doing or what's going on, but there's definitely a lot of love energy here. Somebody's like, you're the only one that I want, Aqua, or this is you, you're the only one that I want, whoever. Pomegranates could be significant. Let's see what else for Aqua. The Seven of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like you've been waiting a really long time for a commitment or for a relationship, or you've been waiting a really long time for a ring. The Seven of Pentacles, like somebody is really getting engaged this month from this reading. Somebody is getting engaged this month, 100%. I know it. The Seven of Pentacles represents seven years and it's like the cycle of Saturn. And Saturn has all of those rings, right? So Saturn is saying that you've waited long enough for this marriage, you've waited long enough for this partner, for this spouse. So for some of you, you're getting into a new relationship that ends up turning into marriage because it is going to be a long-term committed relationship. I feel like you've been waiting for the right one and the right one is in your life this month. The right one shows up, the right one steps up for some of you. And for others of you, you've been waiting a really long time in your current relationship for this person to commit to you or to offer you some sort of engagement or to move in with you or to get a pet with you or something like that. And that's happening this month, okay? I'm hearing water what waters you and water what you want to grow. You could be getting some new house plants, or maybe you want to get some new house plants, or maybe you need to water your plants right now. Anything else for Aqua? This is also good for those of you who have felt like you've been in some sort of rut or some cycle of repetition. Something about that is changing this month. You're done with the, rep the repeating cycle. You're done with that cycle of something. Okay, and then we're seeing the Six of Swords which also came out in another air sign reading. So all the air signs are very connected this month. You may have a lot of air in your chart, or you may have a lot of air sign people that you're dealing with this month, but it feels like you all are kind of on the same page going through similar things. So if you do have air signs in your life and you feel like you need some sort of like assistance or camaraderie or to know that you're not alone, talk to these air signs because they're going through what you're going through. Maybe not the exact same thing or maybe not the exact same way, but similarly enough that you'll feel heard and seen and understood 
yeah. I'm also getting that some of you have felt misunderstood, especially when it comes to love, and that's changing. Whoever this new person is, or whoever this Knight of Cups is, they understand you. They see you. And I feel like you really appreciate that. All right, though, Six of Swords. I'm hearing spiritual enlightenment. So you're enlightening yourself spiritually or the universe is enlightening you spiritually. You're going through some sort of spiritual awakening this month. Some sort of spiritual enlightenment is coming through. Also, the first day of the rest of your life, energy is popping through again too. So if you are getting engaged to somebody, moving in with somebody, getting a pet with somebody, or starting a new relationship with somebody, it's like your whole life changes this month because now you're in a relationship with somebody, so you're gonna see them more often or you're moving in with somebody so that's different because maybe you were living alone or you get a pet and it's like now life is different because we have a little child to take care of you know what i mean so that's the kind of energy i've seen with the six of swords but the six of swords represents calm and peaceful energy so there is some sort of like peaceful calm energy coming into your life this month i'm getting like the calm after the storm if things have been a little stormy destructive chaotic that's all coming to an end this month there will be peace and that showed up in the last reading too the libra reading as well they got a message of peace at the end and i was hearing carry on my wayward son there will be peace when you are done so there will be peace all right what else please for aquarius and if this has to do with like your creative passions or your creativity or your creative pursuits it does feel like there's going to be money coming in for you or an offer to like sign you, to work with you, to buy your stuff. That's what I'm getting. And it's like, this puts you in a really powerful position. This like helps to upgrade your life, to level up your life. And it feels like some of you have been waiting for a really long time to discover what you're truly passionate about, or maybe you've been really waiting a really long time to have other people recognize your talents, have other people pay for your skills, something like that. And it feels like it's happening in December, okay? What else, please, for Aqua for December 2023? Number 26 could be significant. I'm hearing something about berries, berry tones, or berry, berry colors. Maybe you want to wear more berry tones or work with more berry colors, like pinks, purples, dark blues. Something about berries could be significant as well. Maybe you're incorporating more fruits and berries into your diet, or maybe you want to. I don't know. Something about berries is coming through. I was getting like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, berries. Okay. And then soul alignment. It's time for a radical change. Yeah, you're going through a spiritual awakening. Another one. The number 26 could be significant, or 62. But your soul is in alignment this month. Everything is lining up for you, Aqua, especially when it comes to love. It's time for a radical change. This card asks you, how can you show up for yourself in ways that you never have before? Interesting. So that's something for you to ponder this month and for you to work through. How can you show up for yourself in ways that you never have before? And for some of you, I think it's about letting somebody else in. It's interesting because it's like, I feel like you already do show up for yourself or you're starting to show up for yourself more, but the secret admirer or this current connection that you're in, this new person for some of you, they're actually, you're going to show up for yourself more by letting them in, by letting them see more of you, by being more vulnerable with them, by opening up to them. That's actually helping you to show up for yourself more. Okay. I'm hearing it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. So some of you may be afraid of commitment or you may be afraid of love, but you don't have to be with this person or you don't have to be this month. Okay. Horses could be significant as well. And then the bottom of the deck is the number 17. And this showed up in the Gemini reading. There's a lot of synchronicities with all the air sign readings. So the number 17 could be significant or 71. This card says, trust your faith. Dive into the unfolding journey. What is your faith asking of you? To leap. And to know that you will be caught when you take this leap. To let somebody in. To accept this love into your life. Your faith brought it in. Your soul brought it in. 
your spirit team brought this love in. This love is not here to hurt you. This love is here to help you is what I'm getting. It's a part of your path. It's a part of your journey. This person is a part of your path and journey. They're meant to be on it is what I'm seeing. Okay. Trust your faith. Dive into the unfolding journey. Everything is happening for you, not to you. All right. Last card please for Aquarius. I'm hearing Las Vegas. Maybe you live in Las Vegas or you're going to Las Vegas this month. We're seeing education. This showed up in the Scorpio reading yesterday. The number 12 or 21 could be significant as well. I'm going to read this from the book. I did it yesterday for Scorpio too, but I'm not getting anything off of this card. So I'm just going to read it from the book for you. Maybe some of you are educators. Maybe that's your purpose for some of you is to educate others in something. It doesn't have to be like a traditional school. Maybe you're a really good musician. Maybe you're a producer, um, beat maker. Maybe you're going to be educating people on skills that you already possess. Maybe you're going to be educating people on how to draw like you, how to write like you, how to sing like you, something like that. Or maybe you're getting more education on your passions this month. Like maybe you want to learn how to sing better. Maybe you want to learn different things about your passion. Maybe you're just educating yourself more on your passions this month. Okay, let's read from the book and then I'll let you go. So this card has three different messages, one from your soul, one from your spirit guides, and one from an entity. I'll read all three of them for you. The message from your soul with this card says, you have learned to wear a mask when you're in contact with others. Learn to show some things, but keep others to yourself. Learn to rely on what others want. Learn to take all criticism into account, even if it's not constructive. These things you have learned disrupt our connection and communication, the connection you have with your soul. These things connect you to your mind. While you can hear my voice, it's from very far away, like a barely perceptible whisper. Today, release these things you have learned if they no longer hold meaning for you. Find a new connection with me, your soul. Rediscover your inner beauty. Rebuild your frame of reference. Allow your own ideas and wants to flourish. This will help you hear me again as a calm, clear, and gentle voice. Okay, that's the message from your soul. Message from your spirit guides is part of you is, part of you is attached to a single way of contacting us. You may feel you need a specific ritual to communicate with us. That is not so. You only need to open your heart and speak honestly and sincerely, whether out loud or in a whisper. Practices exist to help you connect to your inner being, but we are always here. Because you have your free will, we can't decide or act for you, but our presence is strong. You can get in touch with us through astral journeys. If you need specific signs, we invite you to meditate. It will help you to feel our presence and understand our messages. Create your own ritual. Distance yourself from old beliefs. You are evolving. Evolving? You are evolving, and so is your practice. Have confidence in yourself, okay? And then the last message here from an entity says, I was conditioned by my education in my past life. I thought this was normal, and I reproduced that same education myself. I thought rules set down since forever ago were the best. I thought being a good person meant copying what had always been without trying to define new rules. Rules, norms, and fi fireworks no, but fireworks could be significant for some reason. Maybe you're seeing a fireworks show this month. Rules, norms, and frameworks were so important to me. Now I realize that this closed my eyes to important things and prevented me from questioning. I didn't even question myself. I have detached myself from these things now and I invite you to do the same. Create your own frame of reference. In the next few days, I will manifest myself through music you will be listening to. You'll realize it's me because the words will make you smile. You'll understand the message I'm trying to send you. Create your own freedom. I am working so you may do so now. It is very important. So there's going to be some sort of message coming through in a song or in the music that you're going to be listening to in a few days. Pay attention to that. Whatever lyrics speak to you, write them down. There's going to be messages coming through music for you. And I'm getting something about music education. So that could be really significant for some of you as well. Maybe that's a passion that you're pursuing. Music. Okay. 
So that's what I have for you, Aqua. Hopefully this helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Enjoy your December. Congratulations to those of you who are getting in a new relationship, who are getting engaged, moving in, getting a pet, etc. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. I will see you next time. Bye.